today, people are suggesting that you store food. Whether a natural disaster, an EMP strike, a terrorist attack, or some variant of a financial tragedy. From inflation, depression, or possibly a total collapse. Totally. In our society today, where we are far removed from the farm life, we rarely know where our food comes from or how it's grown. <laughs> what is it with you and texting? Do you even know where butter comes from? From the store. Duh. I'm done. Let me introduce you to a food that is easily stored and packed with nutrients. Sound interesting? It's simply wheat berries. Not blueberries, strawberries, or blackberries. Wheat berries. With the W. This grain and many others have been stored on farms for centuries. Joseph from ancient times was able to store grain for seven years. He was not only able to feed the people of his city, but people came from miles around to purchase it. Talk about an overachiever. Wheat berries is where flour comes from. Even though many grains can be ground into flour, wheat is the most popular. White flour is simply bleached. For instance, if you tootled on out to your car and rolled on down to the grocery store to pick up some flour, you've been purchasing ground wheat berries. This is the great mystery of sprouted grain. This little berry contains some nutrients, but this sucker, can you say six pack? And I know what you're thinking. Right, Bree, that little berry is not sporting a six pack, but look it up! Sprouted berries have more nutrients than non-sprouted ones. If you try these out, you may never want to go back. The health that these little things bring to you and your family, well, explosive. If you've seen any previous videos, then you'll be aware that we sprout, dry, and grind our berries into our own flour. But let's go ahead and continue getting this simple survival food into edible form. The first thing we need to do is soften her up. We do this by soaking it overnight. After this, we rinse them and wrap them in a towel. And that's a wrap. After 24 hours, they are soft and sprouted. The sprouting process sweetens the berry. If you sprout for a longer time, the roots will continue to grow and be even more tasty. Now you have a healthy food ready to snack on. This may not be the most ideal food to eat, but in an emergency, this is an easy way to get a hard berry and convert it into energy without electricity. Here's the kicker. It tastes good. You don't have to choke it down. And if you're feeling even more adventurous, you can plant it and make even more. Talk about a nice return. So enjoy your berries. It's like eating sprouts or something. Mm -hmm. Pretty good, actually. There was no harm done to any GMO crops during the making of this video. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!